unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to welcome those of you joining by television. We're doing a, a special taping, uh, and I hope that you'll be blessed by it. We're going to have a lot of good singing, so you may want to call your neighbor and tell them to tune in. Uh, that would be a, a great work for you to do right now is, is to let the people know that they need to watch this program today because it is special. Uh, we were, really weren't planning to film uh, tonight, but the Lord laid it on my heart because there's so many people that watch our telecast that, that aren't in church, and we're going to try to show you the importance and encourage you to get in the church that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're down to the last days, and if there's anything that we can do here at Crossroads to encourage one sinner to go and seek Jesus, if we can encourage that one person that's depressed or oppressed to, to turn their lives around, that's what God has placed us here to do. And that's what we're going to try our best to do to, tonight. So I'm asking you, if you will, call someone, call a friend or a neighbor, especially if you know someone that's bound by drugs or alcohol or that's depressed. They're, they're, the spirit of depression has a hold on them. Call them right now and tell them to turn to the channel and, and watch today's telecast because I truly believe it will be a blessing to you. And right now, I'm going to ask Stormy and the Crossroads Choir, if they will, to sing a song while you're dialing the number. And if, you, if God deals with your heart, I want you to dial the number on the screen for prayer. That number will be there throughout the program, and uh, someone will be at our offices to pray with you. But right now, Stormy and Crossroads Choir singing for the glory of the Lord. Praise the wonders of 
Hallelujah. Church, praise the name of the Lord. God makes us many promises, and there's some promises that are all so good that they, they just really excite you, and they really get you all excited, but He also makes us promises that kinds of, you know, a lot of the preachers don't like to talk about them. But I want to talk to those of you for just a moment that are living in sin. Now, Daddy, you're sitting right there in front of the television. Your daddies are sitting there, and maybe your children are sitting in the room. And they know how you talk. They know how you act. Mamas, you're sitting there in the living room, or you're sitting there in front of the television. And you know, and your kids know, and people know how you speak and how you act on a day-to-day basis. You see, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but God does. He's always there. He's always watching, and He's always listening. And many people think that everything is all right. Well, I'll have plenty of time to get my life right before God calls me or before the death angel comes. Well, every person listening to my voice has an appointment with the death angel. You that are sitting there right now, you have an appointment with the death angel, and you don't know when he's coming. I don't know when he's coming, but I can promise you one thing. Unless the rapture takes place, unless Jesus steps out on the clouds and calls the body of Christ home, the death angel will come for me, and he will come for you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, I'm going to read some scriptures, and if you have time there in your home... I want you to get your Bible out and read along with me. I I did this a few weeks ago. It might have been a month or two ago, several months ago. I don't know. But the Lord has laid it on my heart to do it once again because you might not have been watching television that day, but you are today. You can reach over and turn the dial off, but if you do, the Holy Ghost is going to get a hold of you. Uh, And this is for all the sinners that are watching television today. And, and those of you that aren't in church, we want to encourage you to get into a church. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous. What makes us righteous? The only thing that can make you righteous is the blood of Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit comes into your heart and your soul, when you repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways and you're drawn by God, drawn by the Holy Spirit, and Christ comes in, that's your righteousness. It says, be not deceived. And, and, and.